Hello everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. We're working on page five of You and Me, Stamperia's wedding collection. Pretty straightforward. We've only got one mechanism. It's this flap, and this flap is four and a quarter by eight and a half. Four and a quarter by eight and a half. You're gonna score a half inch on the four and a quarter side. We're gonna install it to the left hand side of page five. Page five's pocket page. There we go. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and decorate this flap inside and out, and then we're gonna put a flap extension on it, and that's where the magnet will go. This is from the 12, uh, from the backgrounds pack. It's the same. Hi, sweetie. Nala came to say hello. Yes, hello. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and add our extension. We're going to figure out our placement based on looking at it um, sort of holistically. Mm -hmm. And let's see, there is no up or down. I'm going to mark the back side with pencil marks so I know where to place the glue. And this looks good. So it's basically I'm looking for a center to install it in the center. Roughly that's it. Okay. So before we can place our magnet, this has to become fixed. And then I did the I did page four differently. I actually installed this before I put the backing on. Um, do I have to do that? Yes, I do, because the magnet's going to go behind here somewhere. But it doesn't really matter where. So we can place the magnet, add our background paper, and then glue it down. Because this is the one that'll have to move based on this location. But it doesn't really matter. The other one I did with scotch tape. I'm doing this with double-sided tape. It works both ways. And I'm just adding this... Um, the backing right now just because seventeen items. Voice guide. Sorry about that. Um I don't know what happened, but my computer just came on and talked to me. Um just because then you don't have to worry about how precise to measure it because it's gonna go slightly behind um this panel. Um this is the one paper that is from the scrapbook pad, everything else on this page came from the background pack. Okay, and I can still see my tick mark, so I'm going to go ahead and add my glue and put it down. kind of heavy there. 
camera lightly, press it into place, close it, and then look to see if it's straight. Because I've got a, just a little bit of time to work with it. Okay, I was going off this line here. I think it looks good. Press it all into place. All right, so now we're ready for the second magnet. And then, oh, the panel is the same as page four, and I'll give you that measurement. It's uh, five and three quarters across and six and a half inches tall. We're going to look at these side by side. Now one of the things I'm going to do here is I've got this chipboard piece backed by this metallic um, background, which is what I did over here too. So I wanted to pull that back in over here. Um, and I don't want them to be straight across from each other, so I'm going to kind of offset this over here in the corner. Mm, I need to put something on the back of that because that's not going to look good showing. Actually, it doesn't look bad because it happens to match that color. But I'm not sure I want it to stick out. I got to think about it. Okay, so the other thing I did is I had this silver... Um, ribbon and I'm going to place it right here on the side so it looks like a pull tab because it is. I'm just going to put it at a slight angle right there and then because the glue kind of comes through I'm going to put this little tiny um, rose chipboard on top of it to further cement it in place. Like so. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to hold that in, in place for a second on this side. This one's a piece of chipboard. This one is fussy cut. And I'll do the same thing over here. It just adds a little bit of sparkle. I like it. I want this to be a little more splayed. So the ribbon is actually being held together right now with uh, double-sided tape. Um, and that was just kind of to, to give it a placeholder until I got it into the book. That's too much. I think I've got too much tape on it because once you glue it and you and it dries, it, it'll stay. So the tape is really just to give it shape until the glue dries. I like that better. But now my my doodads are going the wrong way. There we go. I wanted these to be uh, going this direction. So it's important to remember that, you know, this is just a piece of paper, so it needs to be glued completely down and thoroughly dry before you tug on it. I 
Okay, now now that we have those in place, I can think a little bit more about what. This was the other thing I thought I'd introduce here is the rib, the bow, but maybe not. Okay, I think I like this. I'm gonna have just a tiny bit showing on the flip side, and because it's a neutral, I think it's okay. I think white would be too much, too loud. So it's just going to be basically, I'm bringing it into where the chipboard is. So the only thing overlaying is that little border uh, from the silver cardstock. Just a tiny bit. And I was just trying to make sure it was straight. Okay, so still room for photo here. And you could have a small photo here or two, three, three by three. Mm. Three by three, you'd have to overlap because it's six, six and a, no, you wouldn't. It's six and a half inches tall, so it would work. So I also have these flowers that I'm really wanting to use, and I think I'm going to wind up using them on the cover. But I had thought about even further embellishing uh, this page um, with a few flowers, uh, but I don't have that many. So I kind of keep going back and forth. We'd have to offset them so they don't interfere with each other like so. I like it. I'm doing it. We're going to do it. That's the flap that opens. I like it. I like it, I like it. Okay, we're gonna do this side now. slightly underneath the pink one. Of course, they're both pink, so that's not helpful, but the one that looks like a rose. Okay. We'll let that dry for a second, and then I've got these. I always have leftover Graphic 45 leaves see if we should work some of those in and I like it. This is the center of the book so I'm going to do a little more here in terms of with flowers and just blinging it up a little bit. I like it on the bottom. should stabilize it. That's cute. These are the leaves that came with it and I trimmed them down and they still look too big. So, do I want a second leaf? We'll see. on top. Okay, and then I'll do that. 
do something with this one. This just doesn't feel anchored yet. Okay, what do you guys think? I think it looks beautiful. I think I'm done. I don't want to overdo it. Okay, beautiful. Now, um, as you can see, these are offset. So when I close the album with a half inch gusset here, these are not gonna lay right on top of each other and get snagged. So it should work out just beautifully. Looks like I've got a loose edge here. So I'm just gonna add a little more glue behind my chipboard hold that for a minute. That one feels pretty good. I know. I hear you. A little extra glue. I have the world's neediest dog. Luckily, she's not a puppy anymore, so she can I can actually wear her out. That took a long time. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that. Page four and page five, both embellished. Um, yeah, I guess I'll be back soon with page six.